It's like that again here, there's going to be a proper announcement soon. It's completely in a residential area again. I don't know what's going on here. I didn't think for a second before turning on the camera. I should get into the habit of doing that, but we're at the point where we're talking. I'll make a new announcement in a moment. We've got a colleague here in a moment. We'll make an announcement together with him, then it will go better. So for you all, that was a wild start. So Leon, great that you're here. We have the guys from the airbase shop and the subscriber. He wrote them a comment where I said 10,000 euros to anyone who delivers me a better kebab than Fairhearts, and you had the top comment, that's why. We're testing 1300 likes. 1300 likes and that's why we're testing your kebab today in Freiburg and that is Airbnb. Yeah, cool. You also come from Freiburg. The Freib originally from Freiburg now live in Karlsruhe. I am a trainee teacher. Oh, you are a trainee in Lear? Yes, my students will definitely look the same. Not too flashy. Okay. So we'll be a bit careful about what we say. So a quick question by the way, would you already know? No, Freiburg, so you're the big boss in this shop too. Both of you, very good. Yes, awesome. I'll ask you both straight away, maybe in the tag team, what makes this shop so special that it gets so many likes and also that you recommend it, of course. Yes, because a year ago I was still living in Freiburg and I ate here for my birthday and the kebab, they made everything themselves. Meat, chicken, veal, they have really awesome grilled dishes. It would be good for your Dana ranking too. Oh no, I just wish I had more time. Yes, be careful. And the kebab bread, everything is fresh. It's really crispy. Top fresh all. Yes, so if you get brown leaves, it's my fault. The skewers look very special. Oh, it looks great. Guys, morning. Hi, the best men. Here. Oh, that's a good woman. That's your chicken. Exactly, both of them are chicken. And the next one is the veal. This is the veal here. Everything looks fantastic here. I've just thought of something. We've got someone making noise. Do you also do German? No, I have beer and pub. I'll ask you a German question anyway. Have you ever taken the word cocktail apart? But that's for English teachers. Yes, yes, whatever. But that's double tail. Yes, I heard that tail tail sauce is standard in Hamburg. Double tail is absolutely standard in Hamburg. Yes. Oh, and here come the shiny balls of dough. Look here. Oh ah. Do you do that for pizza dough too, right? Yes, yes. Pizza dough is made fresh here, but it's probably the same dough, right? No. Donapot's one dough. Yes, it's a different dough. Ah, strong. It's like this, if my colleague Carl really comes out with a kebab here and this is the reason. I really want the new number one. I finally want a kebab that will destroy everything. And the person who manages to show me the kebab gets 10,000 euros regardless of whether it's a top comment or anything else. If I test a kebab, the person who gave me this comment first, or rather this tip, will get 10,000 euros. It's like that. My name on YouTube is Fit and Soul Food. Ah, okay. That means you do all your food content. Yes, exactly. Yes, then definitely check it out, guys. Write to me in the video description. I didn't know you were filming. Yes, 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 yes. I'm filming. I can put it in the video description if you like. Fit and Soul Food. All written together, just in small letters. When is the video coming out? I think in about two weeks. Yes, and for you too. So put your comments in the comments. You can see that it works. It works, right? Based on Carl. Carl. Carl, the big one. Yes. I buy both top and bottom, my dear. What was that about not dressing like that? Yes, I didn't say that about learning. Great, guys. I'll have a normal chicken kebab on the bottom because it looks so strong. I would actually recommend anything chicken other than vegetable kebab. And classic veal with tomato and onion. Classic tomato and onion. Okay, guys, now we have the chicken. Oh, that looks so great too. So, now comes the chicken. Exactly. So, I'll keep this kebab short, guys, because I'm going to go on the offensive with the other kebab. What a strong, spicy sauce, hey. He didn't promise so much there. Strong. Oh, what's going on? Hey. Oh, what's going on? Such a smooth, sweet chili feeling. I pushed from such sweetness to the end with the sweet pig. Bam, then it goes fruity, then really crazy, and slowly fades away. It's always in the background, it's still there. That was 30 seconds ago, it's still present on the palate. Awesome, awesome, awesome.
As I said, I won't go into everything in detail. Maybe I'll go into more detail with the next kebab. I've already recorded it, so I don't want to give too much away now. I've already recorded the other part. I actually wanted to keep it a secret. I'll tell you one thing. It was so good that I had to shoot it afterwards. There was no other way. Before I say too much, just go straight to round 2. Rating at the end. I'll keep snacking on it and you'll see the finale. Oh, now the boat is coming out. Now the boat is coming out. It looks great. Soft. Yes, soft. Do. You see those fine flakings down there? Oh, great. Hey. Tomato, onion, pomegranate, lemon juice, cinnamon. Good. I'm excited about the pomegranate seeds. Hey, I'll just do what Carl says. You know how I do it, Carl. Tomato, onion. Double tail. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks, Carl. So, just for you, I'm going over here. Why am I not recording with Carl now? I get distracted easily. I need 100% concentration when I'm testing a kebab. It's really bad for me, and sometimes when someone else is there, sometimes it works, right? It depends on my mood, but then I can't concentrate. And there's my good colleague, the kebab. The bread is so fine, it's flaking off here. Look. This has so much potential here. This is his poem here with pomegranate. I have to take his tip, of course, because it's such a unique bread. Really so unique, ultra hard, crispy on the outside, but and that's the good thing, really only on the outside, the crispiness in the whole bread, you can forget about crispy bread, super crispy on the outside, really finely selected, I was just about to say how you imagine the surface of the moon when you bite into it. At least not necessarily from the look of it. You bite through fine crusts everywhere, fluffy on the inside. The taste of meat slowly comes in. It's very light in the background. You notice that there's something there, but you don't yet know what to expect. Bread on the inside. That typical dough texture, slightly unbaked. In this case, you can't really say, soggy, but I think that best describes the, soggy feeling on the inside. In this case, the term, smooth, would actually be more appropriate. Just had such a great piece of fat. Slowly felt like butter melting in your mouth. Really, really good. Haven't noticed any of the pomegranates yet. Lemon shoots around the corner. Incredible sesame. Sesame comes out so hard and awesome in this kebab. Really hard lemon mushroom. They push it up again and again, of course. They push each other. The constant cracking of the pomegranate and the constant, very characteristically strong sound of this kebab. This finished veal. Beautifully finished veal. Just like the pomegranate pieces came out, it had a really juicy bite, naturally characterized by the fruitiness, which is a little lost. The acidity is still in the foreground from the lemon. All of you from Freiburg who like this kebab, you really know what a good kebab is. So many little details. I could talk about this kebab for 100 years. They are just one of a kind. This constant mushy feeling. I have to say mushy. It just suits this bread better on the inside. This baked dough. So crispy on the outside. I would come here for the bread alone. A bit over the top with the lemon. Phoenix to unique. Everything unique. I snack on. Then it's time for the evaluation. Now I've got a pen in my pocket. Guys, it really was an exceptionally good kebab. And I can say one thing in advance, it's definitely in my Germany ranking, right? I'll say that before I reveal the rest. So guys, Erbel in Freiburg and I can say that to someone who has probably traveled more in the kebab world than anyone else. Top address in Germany. So, big, big praise for that. I found the chicken a bit weaker, but it was still very, very strong. I only gave it an 8, in quotation marks, because I liked a bit more juiciness at the bottom of the kebab. It could have been easily improved, probably with a bit of sauce, but I can only evaluate what I had for the other kebab, the interesting bread, guys. This I have to call it soggy because, sap, I wouldn't find it right. This unbaked feeling of the dough on the inside, crunch of the pomegranate a really unique feeling. Meat so beautifully done from the breast, characteristic of the breast, has a nice fat cured. So a dream. You got 8.9 points from me. 8.9. Nine. You might have expected more, but I liked a bit of the meat's own taste. Everything was perfect about the kebab, but a bit of the meat's own taste, still a bit. And that's what speaks for you too. It's an animal, not with 1000 additives like from the industry. It tastes good tomorrow. The day after tomorrow you'll get a different kebab than today. 
because the animal is simply different then and maybe that would have been it. So, folks, thank you all for watching. Thank you for taking part and thumbs up. <laughs> Not curious, comment on the video. Remember, your recommendation for the next video. Also ask for the next kebab and then I say kiss. Kiss and see you next time and see you next. See you next time. Ah yes, I'm coming. I swear.